Hi, this is Anita, back with some simple Adobe Captivate tips. Today, I'll be discussing simple audio editing for the novice user. These tips revolutionized my world when I began using audio as an e-learning tool. Of course, you will have already written your audio script and imported them into the slide notes in your Captivate project. Now it's time to select audio in your toolbar. Then select the record to menu item. You can select to record to an object, a slide, multiple slides, or the background. I typically record to a slide. However, if I have audio coming in and out with various objects, I may select to record to a specific object on my slide. When the slide audio window pops up, you can move it around so that you can see your project. As you have already written your script into your slide notes, you can click on the Captions and Slide Notes button. Captions are what you have written in your text boxes on the slide. The slide notes are your script. The viewers do not see the script. You can enlarge your slide notes so that you can see them better by clicking on the Enlarge Text icon. You can also resize the box and move it around accordingly. Now that you have completed all the preparation, you are ready to begin recording your audio. Click the little red Record Audio button, or F5 on your keyboard, to begin. If this is your first time recording with the headset on the computer, it will prompt you to calibrate your audio. Follow the instructions. As soon as it is finished calibrating, it will count down from 3, and you can begin speaking. It is a good idea to keep your mic down by your chin or up at nose level, not directly in front of your mouth. When you are ready to stop, click the Stop button or F4 on your keyboard, then click OK to get rid of the text box. Captivate offers some editing abilities, such as deleting or adding spaces, adjusting volume, and normalizing. These are good to use if you are in a hurry and have an excellent mic, and don't need to do much noise removal. As I have a cheap mic, I typically do my editing in Adobe Audition or Audacity. You can adjust your audio timeline, Highlight spaces to delete them. Click Save. If your audio is longer than your timeline, then you will get a message asking you if you want the timeline to increase based on your audio length. I typically click Yes. However, this may depend on whether or not I have audio attached to objects, and if I want the audio to stop when the object is not in use, I will click No. Go back to your Captivate project timeline to view the audio. The audio, unless it's attached to an object, will always be on the bottom of the timeline. Right-click on the audio in the timeline. Select Find in Library. Then, right-click on the audio in the timeline. And select Edit with Audition. You can also select Edit with Audacity and or any other program you would like. That concludes this lesson. Part 2 will discuss how to remove noise using Adobe Audacity. Feel free to contact me by clicking on any of the icons to connect with me.